Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be showing you some inserts that I have as well as do a plan with me. But I got these from Plan a Journey in Becoming. And, well, is it Plan a Journey in Becoming? I'll link that up above because she has two accounts. Um, but it's a Journey in Becoming and she has um, inserts for, you know, your business or just in general if you have a monthly like I like these monthly brain dump inbox, inbox sheets um, and then she cut and punched these for me because my printer's acting up um, but I love how she has these it's simple minimal and it has these little quotes at the top here remain focused Genesis 6 keep on going despite what others say um, and then here on the back you have events and appointment self-care items to do next month's brain dumping and on the front you have your month of top priorities for the month home items to do monthly goals miscellaneous billing expenses weekly to do's and work items to do so I have one two three of those nope three four so four months of those and then I also she has these are new these are um, some just quote um, dashboard pages and I was thinking I'm gonna uh, lam uh, laminate them um, but I'll go through these with you because these are so nice for your planner um, so this one practice integrity Psalm 101 spend more time being productive by being straightforward and honest in your dealings and again dr. Doug Belshaw they're blank on the back this one remain focused Genesis 6, keep on going despite what others say. And this one, make others more productive. Deuteronomy 34, it's important to make other people more productive. Lead by example, even if it doesn't pay off for you directly. I love that. Okay, expect setbacks. Job. Expect setbacks. They're in, they are in, inevitable. Plan for them. Don't moan about them when they arrive. Because that's going to make you grow. Focus on the task in hand, Proverbs 6, you don't know what tomorrow will bring. By all means, plan ahead, but don't procrastinate. If you can't get it done now, then get it done. Focus on the fruit, Matthew 7. If what you're not using time wisely, if you, what you are not using time wisely and isn't of sufficient quality, look inside to fix the problem. Run the race, Hebrews 12. Productivity isn't about spending all weekend catching up on a project. It's training yourself and organizing your life so you don't have to do that in the first place. Those who want to win the personal race need to put in hours training. Man, that's so good. Okay, so I want to put these in my planner. And I have a ton of dividers because I feel like, oh, and then she added this in with a pin and this loop. So in the back, she, I always wanted one of these because um, Quita. Uh, Kita, you know, I can't even think right now. She always uses these. Um, so I always wanted one. She put one in there for me. And a, uh, one of the gel pens. One of these in black. Paper Mate Ink Joy Gel 0 0.7 in black and ink. And then she added in this divider. Do small things with great love. And it's in foil. Sprinkle foil. Isn't that cute? love that okay so like I said I have dividers everywhere this is my the first page um, just make sure you guys can see this is my vision board right now I just have one of the this actually goes on this side because I was trying to decorate this side on one of the um, what are these called you know the guides one of the planner guides and then I have some goals here. I am loved, I am enough, I am strong. And these are just like personal goals that I can just tell myself every time I open my planner. Be true to you, live with intention every day. Inhale the future, exhale the past. And on the back here, I put a sticker up here that says date five daily reminders. I am amazing, I am capable. I don't think you can see that. I'm amazing, I am capable, positivity is a choice. I celebrate my individuality and I am prepared to succeed. Fill your heart with what's important and forget the rest. So I don't know what I plan to put on that 
page. This was out of the Be Happy box. Fill your heart with what's important and forget the rest. Oh, that's the same thing that's right here. I didn't even realize that. So I have that. And then we go into my daily sheets. In the beginning, I put some daily sheets and I divided it. I, anywhere I can stick a, stick a divider, I will. And then I have some notes here. Um, some bill stuff and reminder stuff. Um, more weekly or um, inserts. And then this one is your cable main thing. This is the beginning of April. And then I have the front of the divider for the month from um, the Modern Sheet Planner. Um, so that's, I have to keep that in there. So basically I have two dividers, but this one sticks out. So I can flip here. And then let me get two. Okay, let me think. This is the April divider. I think. So I take this on here because I don't know. This is this is called Rankin planning because it's all kind of crazy. So that is was April. Okay, and then we have a note page. This is also from the Be Happy box. So is this one? Why do I have two? Wait, I think did they both come from that? I think they do. This is my favorite divider. It goes so well with the modern chic dividers too. Here's May. Um, okay, I'm trying to think. I never did share the after the pin in this. This was last week. No, this was the week before that. And then I only used, this is actually for this past week. There. Okay, so these are, I have to redo all of these because they're from the Modern Chic Planner from last year. Um, but I missed last week. I might just keep it flowing and just because they're all dated anyway, or I have to redate them anyway. The 10th, yeah, this would be the 11th. Okay, so what I want to do. I want to add in another divider. Take this out. Sorry. Oh, and this one's really cute too. Some of these came from the um, companion pack too. I don't know which one. This is from the Modern Chic Planner. I think I'm going to put this in here. That's cute. And then for. I think I'm going to start these monthly brain dump sheets. I'll probably, probably put this here for June. That looks really good. June and then July. This is the beginning of this actual planner. So once we hit July, this is the beginning of this cute start of this planner. So I put my name and some stickers on here. You guys comment down below how I should use this. I never really keep up with this. I do um, use this for school, this one. And I need to finish what I'm grateful for in, in March. But I decided to switch it up. This is just messy. Um, and start using it for school. Um, but I never did. I don't know. I, I use it and then I don't use it. So anyway, this is the last week from this past week of, of the CLD class that I was in. If you guys don't know, I'm in esthetician school. So, pandemic, we actually don't actually go into school, start school until next, not next, not this coming week, but the week after. And I'm kind of scared to go back to school with all this stuff that's going on. Um, I'm gonna put this here. Okay. 
yeah give me some ideas I think on here I'll just do maybe my class schedule and what we're practicing each day at school so this will be for June so I'll definitely be in school and so I think we'll be starting out advanced facials this week um, yeah. okay so yeah give me should I just put maybe I'll just I'll just fill it in with birthdays and events and special events and birthdays and so whatever that's what I'll do but if you have any other ideas I know there's a thousand of them out there but this is my catch-all planner so maybe I should just put everything in there okay so this is the start of July so I'm gonna have a monthly brain dump I don't want it in the middle I want it in here I kind of want it in the middle of the month because it's easier for me to be able to track it more than more than month. Because mm. I want to see this divider. Okay, so here's the month. It might, I might put it there. Oh, I have my guides in here. Because I'm going to do a, I haven't done a plan with me in a vertical monthly in so long. I don't even know how to plan in a vertical planner. I went from doing dashboard to, um, to this, I went to Hobonichi, that's what I did. Then to this type of layout, which I love. And then I do have, um, another planner that I love that's the same type of layout it's this one I'm still in love with her so cute I love this planner. so anyway th this type of layout here um, and these are not dated so I can go in and use this anytime I want shoot I might take this to school this would be cute to go to school with I don't know, this little bookmark. All of this is from the Fabulous Planner. These are all her layouts here. I'm gonna have um, devotional sheets in the back, sermon studies, schedule, and some sticky notes. From This is from the Bunny Plans here. So, yeah, so I was using that. And then I went to the horizontal layout, which is what I'm using right now from the Modern Chic so that I can start using this pretty planner. Um, so yeah, so I haven't planned in a vertical in over a year. That's crazy because this used to be my, this is what I started off with is this vertical layout. I'm excited to start using that again. Okay, so we have July, August. This is so pretty. So we'll do this here. August. September. September matches. Classic skinny. That's September. Oh, and then we have projects. Okay, so now where do I want to put my quotes? So this is April. Quotes. I don't, I guess this is maybe too much and it's not really seamless. It's all these, I don't know. And then I have this one here. But I don't know. I'm going to put that up front. Put this one here. Oh. Well, maybe what I can do is put it on the front of the monthly. Yeah, I can do that. Put this one here, that's the start of the month. That's the June. Okay. And then July.
and then at the end of September will be October. I'll put this one here. And then I'll add in the rest of the month before this. I think I can take this out. Put it in the back because I really don't like the color. It doesn't go with my thing so much. Um, but I do have stickers in the back for on the go. Okay, so I have that. I'm gonna take this out. And So this is where I keep all my bills and events and all of that. Um, any special things going on, I keep it in my first page. I love monthly spreads. They're like my favorite. And I love budgeting. It's like my favorite thing too. And I'm really excited because we just paid our car off. And we just paid down a big chunk on a credit card. So we have one balance left on this credit card. And that's the debt. That's all our debt. Side. Both of our cars are paid off. The only debt we have now is the house and my student loans. That's the two debts that we're working with. We are moving, so we're gonna that debt is gonna increase. Um, we've owned this house for 21 years. 20 years. Um, I've been here for 10, so my husband's owned this house for 20 years. Um, but we're excited to get moving. Um, I'm thinking about doing some budget videos trying to pay down the new house and the student loans um but yeah so for now we're just gonna get the planning i think because i missed last week i am just going, going 